So I'm about to head to Bryce Canyon. Um, I didn't really film anything at all yesterday except for my fire a little bit because I felt like death. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well the night before because of stress, I think. I was like feeling pretty anxious from all the maintenance and uh, all that. So I was miserable yesterday. <laughs> so I didn't do much. I just camped. I tried to take a nap and a little chipmunk got into my van. A little troublesome chipmunk. And I woke up and was like, hey you. And he like darted out of here. I can't blame him. I didn't clean up after breakfast. I was so tired. <laughs> he was really cute though. Um, yeah. I kind of just hung out, made dinner, sat by the fire. I got a lot of sleep last night though, probably about like 10 hours. So I'm feeling much better today. Where I camped, it was um, free dispersed camping. It was really nice. It, I stayed at Dave's Hollow, which was the first little campsite you can pull off when you're on that forest road, but I'm only three minutes from the Bryce Canyon Visitor Center. Um, I'm planning on just taking the shuttle in today, I think, so I don't have to worry about this big bitch <laughs> parking it and whatnot. Uh, I think I'm only going to do one hike today. I don't know where my knee brace is. I might look a little bit more when I get to the visitor center. But yeah, I stayed at Dave's Hollow. I felt really safe there. I was right by a guard station. And also there were dumpsters close by and a full bathroom, like flushing toilet and everything, like very close. So I don't know, I wasn't really too worried. I felt safe and it was a good spot to stay if you're coming to visit this place. But with that, I am going to go. So I am at the free shuttle parking right outside of Bryce Canyon. I'll show it. It's this little thing here. There's a big electronic sign that says um, free shuttle service and I can see the buses. It's right by the Sinclair. Which is good because I'll probably need gas on my way out. And there's also like a couple little diners and stuff very close by which if they have Wi-Fi I might go to after this and... <clears throat> Do some homework and get a nice meal <laughs> that I don't have to cook myself. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. I'm going to look for my knee brace. I'm going to pack some food. And yeah, and get this show on the road.
So, I haven't talked in a while, but I wanted to get caught up before I um, get settled for the night. So today I went to Bryce Canyon. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. I hiked from the Sunset Lookout to Sunrise via the Navajo and the um, Queen's Garden. It was beautiful. It was steep climb at a very high elevation. So I would recommend if you ever want to do this hike, if you if you live at sea level, maybe take a day or two to adjust. Um, what happens when you're at high elevation is that there's less oxygen in the air. And I used to live um, up in Flagstaff, which is about 7,000 feet. So over time, your body compensates for this by creating more red blood cells so you can have as much oxygen as you need. But if you don't live in that kind of area, the difference between, I think they said, Bryce Canyon was about 9,000 feet, so from sea level to 9,000 feet is a lot. Where I'm at in Phoenix, I think I'm about 1,500 feet, give or take, and I was feeling it the first day of the drive up. You get, like, lightheaded, dizzy, you can be nauseous, you can faint, but um, I would just recommend taking it slow. I felt very in shape. I may not look like it, but I felt very strong. My body didn't tire the whole time. It was mostly just feeling like there wasn't enough air. I had to take a lot of stops, especially on the way back up. But I think I fared better than most people I saw going up and down <laughs> the canyon. Yeah, I'm still in Dixie National Forest, but I'm about 40 minutes south of Bryce Canyon, starting to make my way back down to Arizona. I didn't have much energy in me to drive today, but I wanted to make my drive tomorrow a little bit easier, so it'll only be four hours and ten minutes to Flagstaff instead of five hours. But I am just in this little BLM camping site. I heard that there were $3 showers at Camp Leatherwood. Camp Leatherwood is closed. <laughs> I found this by using free roam. It was closed. So I drove out there for not, but luckily it was very close by a lot of camping area. I'm still in Dixie National Forest. Um, I was hoping to take a shower, but I will at my friend's tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to change out of my stinky clothes and get settled for the night. Oh! Also, I almost forgot. I stayed in the Bryce Canyon City for a little bit after I finished at um, Bryce Canyon. I went to the Canyon Diner, which they just have weird, they have like pizza and like chicken tenders and burgers and <laughs> weird stuff. Uh, you can take it to go or sit down there and eat. And they didn't have Wi-Fi, but I had enough signal there that I could use Hotspot, just so you know. And I stayed there for like an hour or two and did homework and checked emails and stuff. So, food for thought if you're ever there and you need to do some work. There wasn't very good signal in the canyon. I almost stayed um, to go stargazing tonight, but reality, I'm probably going to be asleep by like 9 o'clock, so... It's not happening. Um, yeah. It was a cute little town. Um, well. Alright. Good night.